Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 70 of the Grave Tour of the Famous series. This episode is the first part of our journey to visit our national artists, national scientists, and some individuals that received the Presidential Medal of Merit for their heroism as interred here at Libingan ng Mga Bayani in Taguig City. Libingan ng Mga Bayani is located within Fort Bonifacio adjacent to the Heritage Park. This park was first established as a resting place for Philippine military from private class to generals who served the World War II and later became the burial ground for former presidents and national heroes. In 1993, by the virtue of Executive Order 131, President Ramos made national artists and scientists eligible for interment at Libingan ng mga bayani here in Taguig. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of Scout Oscar Alcaraz, a national hero, Director Gerardo de Leon, national artist, and Dr. Jelia Castillo, a national scientist here at Libingan ng mga bayani. Located at the southeastern side of the park is the Section 13 where the National Artists, National Scientists, and Presidential Merit of Heroism awardees are interred. Oscar M. Alcaraz was born on May 4, 1953. He was the 17-year-old Boy Scout who met a tragic but heroic death in La Mesa Watershed in August 1970. Scout Alcaraz was a student of E. Rodriguez Jr. High School in La Loma, Quezon City. In August 1970, the Boy Scout of the Philippines participated in a reforestation project at La Mesa Dam to which Scout Alcaraz joined a group of 22 other Boy Scouts led by Scout Amper. The group was tasked to inspect newly planted tree seedlings that were submerged to water due to recent typhoon in late August. As the group hiked on the trail along the dam on their way to campsite, Scoutmaster Amper accidentally fell in the deep water. Alcaraz then immediately rushed and jumped to save Amper and pushed him to the bank. And as a result, Alcaraz threw himself in deeper water and drowned in the process. His body was recovered in the next day. In recognition of his bravery and heroism, Scout Alcaraz was awarded Presidential Medal of Merit by then President Marcos in a ceremony at Malacanang Palace on September 11, 1970. And by virtue of an administrative order, his remains were transferred from Manila North Cemetery to Libingan ng mga Bayani in October 1970. He was the first civilian and the youngest at just 17 to be buried at Libingan ng mga Bayani at the time. In his legacy, a national road in Quezon City was renamed from Morong Street to Scout Alcaraz Street by virtue of Quezon City Ordinance. Behind Scout Alcaraz grave is the final resting place of a multi-awarded director and a national artist for films. Gerardo de Leon was born Gerardo Ilagan in September 1913 from Manila. He was a film actor and multi-awarded director from 1930s to 1970s. De Leon was a medical doctor by profession but opted a film career. De Leon had about 83 film credits as director, 16 as actor, and 8 as writer from 1930 to 1976. He first appeared in 1930 movie Bago Lumubog Ang Araw with Rogelio De La Rosa and Mona Lisa. His other film appearances as actor from 1930 to 1947 include 1939 Ruiz Senor with Purita Santa Maria, 1939 Ama at Anak with Tito Arevalo and Virginia Salcedo, 1939 Langit sa Karimlan with Reynaldo Dante and Virginia Salcedo, 1947 Tayug ang Bayang Api with Leopoldo Salcedo and Arsenia Francisco, 1947, Ang Kamay ng Diyos with Leopoldo Salcedo and Carmen Rosales. De Leon made his debut as film director in 1938. 
including the movie Bahay Kubo released that year. His other films produced under his direction include 1951 Sisa starring Eddie Del Mar and Anita Linda. Nineteen fifty nine Terror is a Man, an international film starring Francis Lederer with Oscar Kesey. The motion picture that dares to unlock the secrets of the unknown. Is the man. Is he Charles? Yes, he is. You call it the man? On this mystery island in the Pacific, three people are trapped in a new dimension of horror. The New York doctor who gave up his Park Avenue practice to prove himself either a madman or a genius. 1961 Noli Metangere starring Eddie Del Mar and Edita Vital. Nineteen seventy one Women in Cages, an international film starring Judith Brown with Bernard Bonin and Charlie Dabau. The sensational new motion picture that rips the veil off the dirtiest racket ever conceived by the minds of vicious men. No one escapes from my prison. No one. <laughs> Nineteen seventy five Banawe starring Nora Honor and Christopher De Leon. Dito tayo ng buhay. Kultura. Ibok na ang aking puso. Tinibig din kita. Kasama sina Nora Honor, Christopher De Leon at mga batikang aktor ng pelikulang Pilipino. Masilasyo! Nais ko ay kapayapaan na Rook. Ang daigdig na ito ay may puwang... And his last and finished project titled Juan de la Cruz film in 1976 starring Gloria Romero and Susan Rosas, which was never released. De Leon died in July 1981 at 67. He was awarded the following year an Order of National Artists for Film by then President Marcos in 1982. Behind Dr. De Leon grave is the final resting place of a national scientist for rural sociology. Dr. Gilia Castillo was born in Pagsanghan, Laguna. She is recognized for her outstanding contribution to agricultural social science, resulting in a body of knowledge about Philippine rural society, which has enabled the Filipino to better understand the social conditions and dynamics of agriculture and rural development. Dr. Castillo was conferred the highest honor and rank of national scientist in 1999 by then President Joseph Estrada. Dr. Castillo obtained her AB Psychology degree magna cum laude from UP in 1953 and Master of Science in Rural Sociology from the Pennsylvania State University and finally Ph.D. Rural Sociology in 1960 from Cornell University in Upstate New York. A couple of babies, and then in, in 1963, I, uh, I was involved in uh, agricultural and rural development. It was done in six villages. And so, in the beginning, you know, when you're in your Ph.D., you think you're better than anybody else. They're asking me to join them. I said, no, 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 I'm not interested. And of course, they can ask you two or three times after that. I was in charge of the research and evaluation component of the project. Rice is something that I, I was really interested in. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because it's something that we eat every day. Dr. Castillo died in August 2017 at the age of 89. 
In the next episode, we will post more grape tour videos of Manila North Cemetery and the continuation of our visit here at Libingan ng Mga Bayani in Tagui. Later in this channel, we will also post videos of our recent visits of Santuario de San Antonio and St. Therese Parish Columbario in Pasay City. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next grape tour of the famous episodes.